This is... This is cool, right? Yeah, I think so too. That's that's why people wear these things. I'm pretty sure, at least. Because they look cool. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think there's another reason. Nobody cared who I was before I put on the mask. Alright, I think we're done here. <laughs> I think we're done here, people. So I'll see you next week. And welcome back to another episode of Fitness Gimmick Friday. The show where we rip apart some fitness gimmick people seem to believe works. Today, we're talking about training masks, or high altitude masks. Both the names work. I know there's a certain level of irony to me doing a video like this because I did that giveaway earlier, you know, maybe a couple of years ago, where I bought two of these. I tried this one on, I tested it, and then I gave one away. After I personally tested out the high altitude mask, I came to the conclusion that it was hard to breathe, which is what you would expect if you have anything preventing you from getting clean airway. I personally am not super attached to these things just because I own one. I've never really actually used it. I more bought it for the novelty of it and so I could promote my channel a little bit with, you know, testing my outreach. So going into this video, I didn't really have an opinion on it. So I did a little bit of research and uh, well, we'll talk about what this is supposed to do first. So the main function of high altitude masks is obviously to replicate a high altitude. So you'll see a lot of athletes, pro athletes, whatever, people training with this because it's supposed to replicate high altitude. How does it do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, this is a cheap mask, okay? This one is, is pretty much material all the way through, but uh, you can get much better masks than this. So this is not a good example of what all training masks look like. This is a cheap example, but they all kind of operate the same way. They have these uh, these little dials here, these valves, and you can adjust them. And it kind of like, it, it's supposed to like separate the oxygen molecules and replicate what they would be like at a high altitude. There's been a ton of studies done on training masks and uh, science is pretty much completely debunked that these things actually replicate high altitude. It's so hard to do because when you're at a high altitude, it's different. It affects your whole body. It affects your blood pressure. You know, there's just less oxygen in the air and a mask simply can't replicate that if you're trying to train for high altitude you're better off just doing it in a high altitude and not you know in the gym three hours a week with a mask on so basically how it works is that at increased atmosphere you have decreased oxygen because you have less oxygen which your body needs to do everything whatever you're doing just becomes harder right whatever exercise activity you're doing the intensity goes up there's an increase in red blood cell production right you got less air you're working harder now your body has to compensate so training with a mask like this is supposed to increase your red blood cells which basically transport oxygen all over your body. So the more of those guys you got going for you, the better. So are there even any pros to this thing if it doesn't even replicate high altitudes? Well, aside from looking like Bane, there are some benefits, kind of. I mean, every single study or research I've looked up, it kind of all came to the same conclusion. It maybe works, you know, it kind of depends is like the most popular answer I found so far. But basically the pros that you're gonna get out of something like this, you're training in not ideal conditions, right? So you're training where you have restricted airflow. So that when you're performing your activity in an ideal you know scenario situation you don't got this airflow restraint right so now the shackles are off you're good to go you got full oxygen going into your body nothing stopping you so the benefits are basically it's, it's kind of equal to that of like wearing ankle weights you know you're running around with with two pound ankle weights then you take them off and look at them go also what this thing can do is it basically trains your breathing muscles right because your muscles have to work harder like every all the muscles that make you go all your different breathing muscles they get trained because you're breathing harder right your body is struggling to get oxygen so they just have to work harder so you can build up those muscles so basically what you can take away from a training mask is that you can increase your vo2 max which is basically how much oxygen you can take in and you can train your breathing muscles those little red guys between your ribs okay i haven't given this thing a little bit too much sunshine now it's time to see if there are any cons hiding away hiding away in this material here okay first con <laughs> It's hard to breathe. Now I'm no scientist, okay? I'm not a doctor, but my theory on this is that you want oxygen all the time. When you're training, that's a really good time to have as much oxygen as you can. Now, I don't run marathons. I'm not a long distance endurance athlete, okay? And those are probably the people that are gonna benefit from this. But typically restraining oxygen to your body is just in general not a good idea. You literally wear one of these and you train worse so that when you're not wearing it, you can train better. I could be wrong, but why, why don't you just skip that step why don't you just train better because like the thing is you need oxygen in your muscles all the time why would you ever want to restrain that sure you could train with one of these and it would suck and you could take it off and you could breathe oxygen better and maybe perform better but what if you weren't wearing one of these couldn't you just train harder if you had like ideal oxygen intake all the time wouldn't that allow you to like 
push yourself or get used to what you're going to be, you know, the environment you're going to be performing in or competing in, being used to that environment and just excelling at it, not trying to go past it so that the day of you're like doing well in it. Zach, you're not making any sense. Okay, con number two, I have asthma. This thing would probably kill me. Con three, Bane loses in the end. Con four is the overwhelming evidence that this cannot prepare you for high altitudes. At best, it's going to give you a little bit more red cell delivery trucks. While I was doing my research, I found a 2018 study. I came to the conclusion that these things actually do not help you in the gym as much as you think they do, aside from making you look like a badass. Your muscles just don't perform as well without ideal oxygen. I mean, who would have thought? Hey muscles, what do you need to what do you need to perform well for me in the gym today? I need oxygen, Zach. Okay, what else? That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> Well, boy, do I have a surprise for you. Now, I've made a couple jokes already about how this pretty much just makes you look cool in the gym, but that might be a considerable factor. I mean, when you feel like a badass, you typically act like a badass, right? When you know people are watching you, you just seem to perform better. That's why when I was trying to lose weight back in the day, I would go run down sidewalks along busy streets because I wanted people to see me because it motivated me. So I wasn't just the running fat guy anymore. I was the running fat guy with an audience that didn't want to see me quit. They wanted to see me go. They wanted me to succeed. I couldn't let them down. It's the psychological factor. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if this works or not because if it makes you perform better, if it makes you train harder because you feel like a badass, and who am I to tell you don't wear this thing? Put this thing on, wear two of them if it makes you, make, makes you work out harder. Wear one in the front, wear one in the back, put one on each of your arms, whatever it takes man to get those gains. So what's my verdict here? I think these things are pretty much a waste of time unless they you know psychologically give you that edge in the gym or wherever you're doing then that's a plus. But unless you're, you know, some long distance endurance athlete, it might be of benefit to you. But I think for the general population who are just trying to lose weight and put on muscle, I think this is probably just a waste of time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think you should keep your oxygen. Give your body all the oxygen it needs and there can be no cons in that. This fitness gimmick has been gutted. Hey guys, you stuck around at the end of the video. Sweet, thank you. Thank you for your watch time, I appreciate it. Uh, if you stuck around, guess what? You're getting a bonus con. This thing makes you painfully aware of how bad your own breath is.